Hey YouTube, it's your girl Spiritual Sage. We're gonna be using some new cards today, okay? So these are the angel numbers, all right? So if any of you guys have been seeing whatever number pops up, we're gonna read the message. We're gonna see what spirit has for you today, okay? Ancestors of the highest white light, I ask that you come in. Ooh, ooh, okay. Somebody need to set up an ancestral altar. Period, that was spirit said now. They be really working for you. It could be because they about to bless you and you need to show your gratitude. Set up your ancestral altar and, and offer to them. Let them know that you are grateful that they're helping you. All right? Look now. 11-11. Woo. Somebody about to come in union with the uh, with the twin spirit. What's the message? Okay. 31 popped out. So let's read it. If you have been seeing angel number 31, it says, Your approach to life is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination. Your mind is stirring with great ideas and you have the origin. What the hell? You have the organizational skills to manifest them into life. You're disciplined, basically, okay? There's a mix of practicality and imagination. And we just saw that 8-8. Eight, eight. We just saw the 8 8. So, whatever this is that you are imagining, right? This is your life. Spirit says you're about to manifest it. Right there, you're about to manifest it into your life. That's why y'all need to set up this ancestral altar. Okay, okay, Spirit. I get it now. I get it. All right. Now, these are the ancestral path cards. All right. They're brand new. They're big as hell, but we're finna use them. When I say they huge, y'all, look at that. They huge. We finna use them, though. Let's see what spirit wants y'all to know. I cannot shuffle. Not even sit here and play like, act like I can because I can't. Okay, that one wanted to come out. Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords. This one is sitting on top of the world. She looking down. She's looking down on a whole new... This is somebody who has... The, they're disciplined, like it say. I'm disciplined. You don't cut out everything that no longer serves you. Okay? And you're looking down on this world that you're wanting to manifest. And Spirit is telling you it's about to come into reality. Okay? This world that you man have manifested is about to come into reality. Um, do some more inventory. All right? If you feel like you still need a few things you may need to cut out, you need to do that. But you have the whole universe behind you. This Queen of Swords got the whole universe behind her, and that's just period. All right. She are, see, she, that's why I say you already done, whoever this is I'm talking to, you already done, done all your cutting. She done put she putting her knife away. That's why Spirit say you need to get your ancestor off because your life is about to come. It's about to come into reality, bro. You, some of y'all may not even be ready for it. Mm -mm. But I feel like you've done the work. You're very disciplined. Very disciplined. And she's putting her knife away because she's done all the work. She done cut out everybody that no longer. People, places, and things that no longer serve her, she done did her work. Okay? She's ready to move forward. She's closed out some kind of karmic cycle. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay? So, Spirit, let's see. What's the message? What is the message? This is also someone, I'm, I'm picking up Capricorn Taurus Virgo, because it says your approach to life is an effective, an effective, okay, mixture of both practicality and imagination. So you're not too far up in the, up in your head, okay, but you still have your practical ideas of how life's supposed to be. But you understand, um, you adding your little imagination to it. You don't just want a two-bedroom house, right? That would be practical if it was just you and your husband and you and your whoever the fuck. You add a little bit of imagination to it. Whatever that is for you, it's about to come into reality. And it's just period. All right. I can't make it up. <laughs> Baby, Spirit says get that ancestor altar and show gratitude because they really about to rain in on you. Some abundance. Spirit says that's the truth. Man, listen. It's the truth now. Spirit about to rain them in on you because you've been doing the work. This Queen of Swords, she sees clearly now. Ain't no rain behind her. Like I said, she got the whole universe behind her. She done done her work, putting her sword up. All right? She's been fighting for it. This is somebody who been fighting their way through. 
but you're able to put the sword down. You don't really have that much. Uh, mm, okay. So, I feel like, take this way it resonates. I feel like you have done the work. You're showing up as the empress, telling me that you've grown a lot. You've done a lot of healing, a lot of learning. You ain't all the way up in your head. You ain't too far in the clouds, okay? Um, you, you're both. You got your head in the clouds, but you got your feet planted on the ground. And these things that you have been imagination, uh, I'm sorry, been imagining, they're about to come into uh, fruition, fruition. But there is someone for you. I don't know who this is. There's someone that's like creeping. What they trying to do, spirit? Somebody holding on to you, all right? Um, this person could want a reconciliation, but I feel like it would cause a tower. It could, um, cause I see it clearly. It's like they creeping. As you, you, so you may think that you don't cut everything, cause you are clearly putting the sword back in this holster. So you make you, you, you think you're done. And I did too for a minute. I thought you was done too for a minute. But as the more I look at this card, I see you got like this wave. It, it look like a wave that's trying to crash around you. Somebody could break in some bullshit. We saw the tower just now. Could even be a friend with the three of cups here. But it's someone who wants to hold that. So this is the person that be in your life tonight. Ooh, she changes. She acting bougie. She acting funny. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to change. We should be forever evolving. But it's someone who doesn't want... They just don't want to let you go, okay? Um, maybe they don't have... Maybe they're not being evil about it. They, this is just someone who doesn't want to let you go, okay? They want to hold on to you. Um, with the Ace of Cups showing up, it could be an old lover, old friend. It's someone who themselves, they're not ready for the heights that you have prepared yourself for, but yet they don't want to let you go. They have not done the work, whoever this is in your life, they haven't done the work to come with you, but they don't want to let you go. So they got their little, little hands around your ankle, and you trying to get somewhere in life, okay? All right, so Spirit says you will overcome this. You have to be strong. Um, let's see, Spirit. No, I didn't see that. What's that? Three of Pentacles. Definitely a friend. All right. Someone who just... And this friend could even be telling you... You could be telling her, I'm about to go apply for this new position. That I'm, You know, I'm working on myself. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I'm about to invest in this. And they're like, why would you do that? Why you don't want to stay here in this in our hometown? Everybody know everybody. We cool. And you like, hell, now nah, I'm ready to get up out of here. So I don't think they're doing it in a negative way, but this is someone who's scared to reach for the top and you're not, and they, they just don't want to let you go. Okay. It's kind of sad. It's kind of sad. You probably have been friends with this person for a long time. King of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, or you've known this person for a long, yeah, a long time, Knight of Pentacles. Um, and they just don't want to let you go. Poor thing. Oh, all right. What's that? Yeah. So. Five of Swords coming up in the reverse. Um, this person could have even kept you confused for a while. They could have been. Spirit is telling me there's no jealousy here. I, I felt that. I said, I don't think it's negative. There's no jealousy here. Um, but they just don't want to let you go. It's sad, really. It's sad because this is someone who doesn't have the faith to reach for the mountaintop. And you do. All right? Okay. Anything else, Spirit? And like I said, this could be anybody in your life. This person feels like when you leave or whenever, when you do whatever this is, take this new job, buy that new house, when these abundance, when this abundance comes in for you, they feel like it's going to be over for them because you're not, you're not the same whether you get this abundance or not. You're not the same anymore. You went from the Queen of Swords to the Empress. You've done a lot of growing. This is someone who knows their their uh soul's purpose okay and so this person that you it doesn't make them a bad person they just don't know what they're here for yet and they truly feel like um they also feel like you are 
Okay, so there's a little bit of selfish, selfishness there, but it's not evil. This is someone, this could be a best friend, a lover, but this is someone who clearly sees you going to the mountaintop. And they kind of feel backstabbed and betrayed. Um, maybe you are used to showing this person how to do everything, but you can't make, the, you can take them to the water, you can't make them drink it. Okay, because I feel like these people that's coming up to you, maybe you was telling them, look, man, they got a position open at my job. Won't you come and apply? This person is comfortable where they are in life, and you're not, clearly. You went from the Queen of Swords to the Empress. This friend, this family member, this lover, whoever this is in your life that you used to work with, you used to be friends with, with the Three of Pentacles. Um, so, clearly, friendship, this friendship is going to change. It is. You're not on the same vibration. And it's not that you are being funny. They're going to feel that way. They're going to feel stabbed in the back, ten of swords, okay? It's just the, the facts of life. As you continue to elevate and evolve, and this person's clear that they, they're not ready to do that. 11-11 on the phone. They're not ready to do that. So they're not going to rise with you. And if you continue to stay around this person, and if you're elevating here and they're here, they're going to be sucking energy from you, okay? So, that's why I said you may have a little bit more. You may have to do inventory again. You may have to cut out, you know, one or two more peoples that you thought you could take with you. And it's going to hurt you. It's going to hurt you and it's going to hurt them. Okay? So this, this one's going to be hard, okay? But that's how it happens. You, you elevate, you cut some folks off. Some people make it to that ne next round. And you think they're going to keep working with you. This person's scared to reach where you're going. Okay, because spirits say your approach to life is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination. Okay, you have the organizational skills to manifest this shit into reality because you are very disciplined. You know what you want. You know how to get it. All right. This person isn't. Maybe they're used to eating off of you, but they can't do it anymore. They, they've come to a place in their life where you are going to no longer be able. They're not going to be able to suck energy from you. You could be an empath, and this person, they just, when they when they upset, they know if they call you, you that friend that make them laugh. You that friend that make them forget about the hard times and stuff like that. But now you're almost out of reach, okay? And I, I'll, show, I'll prove it to you now. This is the ground. This is the universe. Look how you're almost out of reach. You've elevated too high, even here. These are people. Look at you. Excuse me. And it's not, listen, don't take this the wrong way and say, well, I, th that I'm being egotistical here. No, you've done the work. Queen of Swords. Look how she's putting that knife up. She's putting that knife up. You've done the work. You've elevated. You're out of reach for somebody. And it's just period. And so for others of you, if this person wanted to manipulate, they can't. You, you um, vibrate too high. You see straight through them. Okay? You know the truth and clarity. And that's just period. Whew, child. It could be a love. It could be a Gemini. Take it where it resonates. All right? You may feel that this person's acting selfish, what they're doing. I'm trying to explain to you why they're doing it. They're too scared to do the work to elevate to where you are, but they don't want to see you go. Okay? Ain't but one or two things going to happen. Either you're going to come with me or I have to cut you off. I have to cut you off, all right? So, this may be another round of folks you might have to cut the fuck off. But I feel like you're going to do it in a very loving way. Queen of Cups here. Very nurturing. You're very intuitive, all right? But it may cause some shit, all right? It's just the truth of it. It might cause some shit. This person could be used to depending on, just used to having you in the background somewhere, all right? And they're not able to do that anymore. You've elevated too damn high. Wow. Ten of that's what that's what you manifest. That's why you gotta get the ancestor altar and thank your ancestors. Cause you really about to get that ten of cups, Empress. I'm really scared. <coughs> Is there anything else here? I keep seeing that ten of swords. It's like someone's having a fucked up ending while the other person's having a brand new beginning. But this is it's a matter of choice here. The Three of Pentacles. I tell y'all every time I see this card, you choose. Three of Pentacles is an energy of choosing who you want to work with. 
these people is choosing to stay where they are and you are choosing to continue to elevate because that's exactly what we were put here for learn the lessons and evolve okay and the moment you get complacent, that towel comes in. Yeah, like I said, you are someone who's figured it the fuck out. Hangman's coming up in the reverse. What I just said, you are you have figured that out. You have figured out that life is full of lessons. We are put here to learn them some bitches and, and find our life purpose and continue to elevate. You done figured that out. And like I said at the beginning, you're someone who's found your soul's purpose. Rewind it. Got that what I said now. You're someone who's found your soul's purpose and this person don't want to let you go. Because they, have they haven't figured it out. They ain't found theirs. And it, it comes, there's, this is going to happen. Eventually, you know, if both of y'all just continuing to stay on the same level, then there's no growth. Clearly, there's growth here. You went from the Queen of Swords to the Empress. There's growth here. And there's someone else is just like, wow. A friend. I keep cutting it on this three of, see, three of Pentacles, three of Cups. That's what I keep cutting it on because it's a friend for some of y'all. Yeah, with the Ace of Cups here, it's a friend who's needing to learn something new. They need to learn something new. And it may be the push that this friend needs once they reach and see that you're not there anymore. You're not going to be on that same comfort zone for this person. They actually have to step out and do the work themselves. Whoever this is in your life. Yeah. Wow. Magician energy. Okay. You are. You're manifesting. It says it right here. You're about to manifest it into life. Into this 3D life. So I don't know why this reading is coming up. But I guess it's coming up because of... It may be some arguments. There may be someone who's, uh, you may be telling this person your plans and they may be coming to you trying to keep you stuck. And, and the reason is they know that, that you deserve this. They do now. That's why I don't really feel like it's an evil, but take how it resonate, okay? Could very well be evil. I don't feel that. They know you deserve this happiness because you've done the work, because you have figured it the fuck out. But they just don't want to let you go. And they don't want to do the work to get where you are either. But like I said, ain't but one or two things can happen here. Either you do the work and come go with me, you know, or I have to cut you off. And this, you know, it's just because I'm not. You, you see, you going back down is not an option. No, you've done too much. So the only two options is either this person, this friend, this lover, whoever it is, Either they learn something new and come elevate with you so that you both can celebrate together or you will have to pull the sword out because you got your hand on the sword. Got your hand on the sword. See, you had to put it up because you thought the people that you cut out, that was enough. And I see it in my comments. People say, damn, I didn't damn near cut everybody out. And sometimes it be like that. Do you see? And I hate to say it like that. I hate to say it like that, but it's just the truth. Do you see her and everybody else sitting up here? No. She's sitting up here by herself. You see? And I think a lot of, you know, a lot of people feel like they're doing something wrong. They feel like as they elevate, they circle good smaller and smaller and smaller. It will. It's going to get to eventually. There ain't nobody up there but you. All the other people's is right here. And like I said, this is not you being greater or better than anyone. This is a choice. Okay, these same peoples is peoples that you used to celebrate with, you used to work with, you used to hang with, okay? The choice was you figured it the fuck out. You're like, man, we cannot be 40, still going to the club, getting drunk, having hangovers. We, we can't. You know, I can't keep waking up this hangover trying to go to work on Monday morning and fucking up my orders and, you know, I can't keep doing it. See, you figured it out before they did. And you started elevating yourself. And these friends just don't want to see you leave. But they don't want to do the work. Okay? And that's just it. And I think that's why Spirit is putting this reading out. Because there's some more people you're going to have to cut off. Okay? There's some more people you're going to have to cut off. Alright? And it's just period now. People that you've been knowing for a long ass time. These people could have made it to the second round of cuts. But now they're going to get cut off. I hope you understand now. Don't start getting confused. Well, I shouldn't have to cut this person off. This person's been in my life for 30 years. Like I said, 
ain't but one or two things. Either you're going to come and do the work so we can celebrate together. I would love to celebrate with you. I would love nothing more than to be able to celebrate with you. Or you got to go. Because what's going to happen if you continue to hang around these people? Um, it's Listen, five, five. Five talks about change. That's what's about to happen. She's about to, a friendship, a collaboration. Something's about to change. But um, your soul and their soul will be a conflict. Uh-huh. You, you will get in the energy that like, you don't even want to do the things that they're doing. They call you on a Friday night. Girl, we're going to the club. Or whatever this is that you guys normally do together. You're like, mm, I just don't want to go. You know, they're going to want to do things that you have no interest in anymore. And it's because you're elevating. Your soul's elevating. You find no enjoyment in these things anymore, whatever they are. Okay. And so it's going to begin to cause conflict. When you get around these people, you're going to begin to get sick. If, if you let it go so long, it's because they're sucking energy from you. If you're the empress and they're staying down here, you ain't getting no energy from them. They're getting it from you. Please pay attention. So you will begin to get lightheaded, dizzy, confused. Some of you guys may begin to get sick. A lot of things will begin to happen to you because of the energy that you're in. Spirit says you're just going to have to move on. It just period. It just period. Some of you may be able to take a person or two with you. Um, you know, this could be kids. I heard mama. Some of you may be able to take these energies with you because they love you so much they don't want to let you go. And like I said, that's the only two things going to happen. I said this in a live a week ago. I said, if you removing your energy bothers someone so much, then they'll begin to do the work so that they can come with you. And so, right here, somebody, one of these three peoples want to go with you. They want to go with you, okay? Um, and for some of you, as you're leaving this choppy waters, which is this five of wands energy, uh, you're going to pick up new people on the way. Mm -hmm. You're going to pick up new people who are who just made it out themselves. These people were going through the same thing that you were going through. Okay? For others of you, this is you making it out. And this is your angels, your spirit guys rowing the boat. Okay? So you think you're losing something by cutting this friend off. Okay? And it's like this. The Most High God doesn't take anything out of your life without the intentions of replacing it with something better. And by better, I mean on your vibration. So you're going to have to cut out these five of wands peoples, okay? And on your way to get to this clearer water, you may pick up some new friends. You know who those new friends are? These could have been friends from middle school, high school. These friends, these new friends you're about to pick up, these are soul tribe members. These are, they're a part of your soul tribe. So these people, yeah, you could have known them for a long ass time. And it's hard to let them go. You've known these people for a long time, too. You've known their souls for a long time. And so, for some of y'all, these people is going through the same thing you're going through. And on your way to leaving this choppy water, the chaos and conflict, you're picking people up who had to go through the same thing. They just made it out. They just got through cutting somebody else off. Y'all forget my bro, my nigga. They just got through cutting somebody else off. And you guys are going to go together. So, take it how it resonates. For some of you, it's going to be a couple family members who make you with you, a couple friends. For others of you, it's going to be new people you pick up. And for others of you, that is you. And this is your spirit guide rowing the boat. Okay? Um, it, it may be... It, for some of you, it could literally be a fight to get out of this. Because you've known whoever this is for such a long time. Alright? So take it how it resonates. The spirit says you're manifesting through a heart space. And you're getting in this full energy. And you're going to meet people who are just like you. And you can begin to build your own stability. New stability. That's the justice. You're going to be meeting people who are on your vibration. That's what I mean with this two of cups. They're on your level. Your vibration. Okay? So you go from the three of cups. The people that you knew in your physical life for a long ass time. To meeting people who are on your vibration. Because like I said, you're an empress. This could even be you meeting an emperor. Take how it resonates, okay? But yeah, you're moving forward. So there's still, yeah, moving forward, working on yourself. Who? This Queen of Swords. That's who we talking about. That was the first card out, the Queen of Swords. All right? And that, again, there it is. Eight, eight. Eight of 
pentacles. I'm sorry, eight of cups. Yeah, eight of pentacles, eight of cups. Eight, eight is abundance. Abundance is coming in for you because you did the work. Cutting out these folks, you're moving forward. Gonna leave some people behind and meet your soul tribe members. I told this story and I'm gonna tell it again, then I'm gonna let y'all go. So when I got on my spiritual path, started growing, and I had to cut out about, hmm, 15 people. Probably not even that damn many. That's probably wishful thinking. But, you know, cut out 15 people that was in my physical that I really was fucking with on the daily. Three of Cups, Three of Pentacles. I was really fucking with these folks. And I had to cut them out, but then I gained 30, 40 some thousand tribe members. So, do you understand what I'm saying? There will be some sadness here. There's always sadness when there's some change. But Spirit is telling you to continue to nurture yourself. You'll make the unnecessary adjustments, okay? But there is. There's always some sadness when you have to leave the people that you care about behind. But instead of looking at it like that, you have to look at it like, if you love me enough, if you care about me enough, then you will do the necessary work to elevate where I am. Because I can't come back. I can't meet you in the middle. I can't park at the McDonald's and wait for you. You got to do the work and come up there with me because I would love to celebrate with you. I've been knowing you for 20 years. I'd hate to have to cut ties right now. But that's what some of you guys are going to have to do. And it's it's not, it's their choice. You're just choosing to continue to rise. It's up to them whether they, can, they choose to come with you or not. You see what I'm saying? Let's look at your finances a little bit. Spirit, what's going on with the finances? These brand new cards. Spirit, what's going on with the finances? <coughs> Stability. Unexpected legal. Oh my goodness. So, you might have to take some legal matters related to finances. Um, you could receive money legally. But anyway, Spirit is saying this is a good time to handle any legal matters involving money. It's a good time because justice is on your side. That was Spirit is saying. Huh? We already told you, you're manifesting, right? You're about to be stable. See some gold bars. That's how stable you're about to be. So with this unexpected spirit says, prepare for unexpected loss. Prepare for unexpected loss because so many people ain't going to want to come with you now. All right. Uh, this financial crisis may be out of control, but you can still control the outcome. And what do I mean by that? Because for some of you guys, this, this, gonna, this could be a work project. And some of these people ain't going to want to come with you, but they don't want you to leave. So, if you have invested in someone, say, for instance, it's not a work project, but this is a husband and wife situation. Um, and you guys have a house together. You're elevating. And say, for instance, the husband chooses not to, but they don't want to release you, but they don't want to do the work to come where you at. There's going to be a financial loss there because there's not going to be a two-income household anymore. It's going to be a one. But Spirit says that one is going to be like gold bars. It's going to be stable as hell. Okay? So you may lose a two household income to a one household income, but it's gonna be worth all these damn gold bars. You don't have anything to worry about. And there really could be with the legal here and the unexpected, there really could be an unexpected divorce. But it all goes back to what I said. These people don't want to release you, but they don't want to do the work. There's nothing to worry about. Queen of Pentacles with the stability and the six of one. The most high God said, just as soon as you turn your back on whatever was trying to hold on to you. Just as soon as you turn your back on that shit. Look at that. Six of one talks about victory. Victory and success. Continue to nurture yourself. Okay? Because you're going to be stable. We started out. I said, somebody holding on to you. There's going to be an unexpected. For some of y'all, it's going to be an unexpected split. Whether it's financial or uh, in a business, a job, a marriage, a relationship, or just friendship. Okay? It's going to be an unexpected split. You've done this. You've manifested this because you decided to do the work. And these people is used. And, 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 and look, for some of y'all, well, this is a husband and wife. This could be a wife who's used to the husband taking care of her and the husband is elevating. Uh, baby. 
That's up to them. They either want to do the work and come with you. I don't see that happening. I don't see it happening. I don't see them coming with you. But you better not hold yourself back for nobody. Our spirit, I cut it on the empress again. And this could be a man. This does not have to be a woman. The energy of the empress is manifesting new things into reality. That's the energy. You could be a man or a woman. People get caught up on the damn picture. Oh, that's a girl. Oh, she got blonde hair with my hair black. That ain't listen. I read energy, bro. Take it how it resonates. Shit. If you're a man, you're a man. If you're a woman, you're a woman. If you're both, you're both. Take it how it resonates. You're going somewhere. Not everybody wants to see you go because they scared. They scared to actually... Do the fucking work. Cut out what no longer serves them. So they figure they just hold on to your ankles and keep you stuck. No. It's going to be a severance here. All right? But you're going to be okay. You're going to be stable, solid, and financially secure. All right? Picking up Capricorn towards Virgo, very, very strong. All right? It's your girl, Spiritual Sage, and I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. Both of them. And until next time.